morning everybody welcome back to my channel it is 10 15 in the morning it's tuesday i just got to the mall um i really want to check the dumpsters here because i haven't in a while the mall has been closed due to covid and i think it's back open but i just pulled up um and there's literally just like trash bags everywhere, like overflowing, like multiple dumpsters. I've never seen it look like this before. The only thing is there's someone there right now looking like a family. So I'm gonna give them like a little bit of space, some time, and then I'm gonna go see like why there is so much trash. And hopefully it's candles and lotion and stuff because that's typically what I find here when I do find things. So, okay, we're gonna go find out in just a second. Okay, here we go. I think it could still be a cute planter though, even without the head. Taking these to show Alex because it's funny to me that there's just a bag of outside this dumpster. wall decor without the mirror.
right. Okay, so that wasn't the normal stuff that I typically find at that dumpster. Normally it's more like body lotion and kind of stuff, but um, I just have like a bag full of, uh, I guess like vibrators now. So we got uh, lots of colors, y'all. <laughs> this is the wall yeah I did take uh like all of them because I think I want to just send them to my friends and just like this shows up in in their mail with like no return address or anything and I think it's pretty funny um so I did take a lot of them there we go <laughs> they are all new like they were in the boxes they just like ripped them out of the boxes so uh yeah you know it's cool we take usable things from the trash and we don't discriminate on what they are. So I did take like 10 sex toys. <laughs> uh, and then we also got the little cute planter and the mirror. And the mirror is broken, but it has like a cute frame. So I think if I just remove the mirror from it, it would actually be really cute for someone to just hang on their wall as like an empty frame or they could reuse it as a picture frame or something. So. There we go. Pretty, pretty good first stop. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm at an apartment complex now. does not look like there's anything that's like a little kid bed. definitely too much stuff to even like move anything because it's all gonna fall out so I'm not gonna even try I can see there's like a suitcase up there um, yeah I'm not even gonna try because it's all gonna tumble out and that's not good <laughs> so there's another one over there I'll go check it out Okay, let's see. Lots of flies, gross. soft I thought maybe it was closed but lawn clippings all right just trash all right we will go to the next spot all right new apartment complex
cute dress. Woo! Kind of gross. There's definitely food all over it. But it's a cute vintage dress. I'm gonna, I'll take it. I'll just put it in its own bag because it is gross. <laughs> Well, we'll take the dress, and that'll be it from here. Okay, nothing in there, but I mean, I told you on the last video we wanted a toaster. This is like a really simple one, but I bet it works. So I'll take this. There we go. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's a toaster. Yep, okay. There we go. Okay, nothing here. We haven't found anything at the last few ones, but let's keep going. Hopefully we'll find something. <laughs> A lot of this stuff is new. Hi. Hello. Lots of beauty products, and I don't know what's in here, but this is like a little makeup bag. jacket. It's stuck up there. I'll get it in a second. Let's see. That's a cool 
purple jacket. All right. So a blazer that has a lot of cool pockets. It might be reversible or something. I'm not sure, but it has a lot of cool interior pockets. We got some cute towels and matching bath mats. And then I put the beauty products in here, but a whole bunch of cosmetics and stuff. So I'll wanna make sure most of it's new, but these are all really, really full. A lot of this stuff is just still in the packages, obviously. So cool, what's in here? Oh, pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, so a little vanity mirror and then this nice big like roll up makeup bag and it has some hair ties in it. So there we go. That's awesome. Good stop. Okay, let's see. Nothing. Nike headband and a key, but <laughs> okay. All right, two little tiny things. There we go. Okay, I saw some of these cute reusable boxes. but those are cute. Mm, no. All right, here we go. Okay, the first thing I noticed when I drove by was this big dog bed. And I don't know if it's in good condition. It's got some stains on the inside. Maybe it needs to be washed. There's clothes down there. Let's do this.
we got a cooler and a bunch of DVDs. So there we go. <laughs> and they all have them in it. Sweet. All right. Oops, did I miss something? Those crocs are torn up so now that I open this one I'm gonna try to put it back in here though okay there we go okay moving on okay I'm back home it's all laid out for me to show you here's some of Pilgy <laughs> and Yes, I never thought that my kitchen table um, would look like this. So here you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here is everything that we got all laid out. I will start over here. We got some cute beauty products. Um, Wet n Wild, some blush, the beauty blender hair ties, these cute little things, which I'm actually was already wearing in my hair. Um, I found them, I didn't film it, but I found them and then it really helped me hold my hair back. So I'm currently wearing these, but there's more. Uh, these are just like Tylenol basically. It just says they have like acetaminophen in them. So just painkillers. Um, this is honestly just like a really pretty little mirror. Hello. And I think it has like a magnifying one on the other side. Yeah, so that's just like a really pretty little dainty mirror. Um, these are basically full. So this is a charcoal mask, warm vanilla sugar body cream. This one's really pretty, aromatherapy charcoal black mask. Is that what it is? No, uh, black charcoal body cream. And then this one, Mad About You triple moisture body cream. And these are all, I mean, they feel very, very full. Um, maybe they've been used like once or twice. That one maybe a couple times, but for the most part, they're all really full. Oh, and this, um, facial spray? Not really sure what it is. Oh, hydrate and refresh with uplifting mist. Ooh, okay, so there's that. That one's been used a little bit, obviously, but still cool. Um, we got, this, which is just a really pretty makeup bag. I don't see a brand or anything, but it's nice. It's like a vinyl, so it will wipe clean really easily. And it has a hook so that it can hang. We got all of these DVDs, lots of good ones. Uh, some I've never heard of, Tigerland, Twilight, Ernest Goes to Africa. Oh, Dimitri Martin, that's cool. Okay, so there's that. Rudy, good. And Big Mama's House Special Edition. So we got a lot of DVDs and they are all in there. And then those were with this Playmate cooler. I just wiped it down once. I can clean it again uh, more thoroughly, but just to get it kind of clean for the video. And the inside is fine. One thing I worry about when I find coolers is that there's going to be like old or rotten food in there. So this one is just uh, been used. It's in a little bit beat up condition, but it looks overall really good and it still works. Okay, we got all of the <laughs> sex toys. Um, there they are. I'm not gonna go into full detail of them, but there they all are. <laughs> this toaster, in fact, does not work. Um, the spring is broken, so it doesn't stay down on its own. And then also when I just held it down, uh, it started to kind of spark and I was nervous it was gonna catch on fire. So I'll be tossing this one. Uh, it looks like it was thrown out for a good reason. Here's these, this beautiful, colorful tortoise. Um, Handcrafted in Mexico. 
and its head fell off. But like I mentioned earlier, if you just like put succulents in here and it was like an outside thing in the garden or something, uh, it would still be really beautiful. I'm gonna keep it and do that with it. Here's the mirror under here that I took the mirror out. And now it's just like a big wall decor. It has the cardboard back. Um, but that could be removed and then it would just show through and show your wall behind it. So I think it's really cute. I can definitely sell this at a garage sale and uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it not having the mirror just as a different decor. So there's that. Um, two storage baskets. They're really cute. The red and the blue. Pretty decently clean on the inside still. So I really love having those around the house to hold like towels and sheets and stuff in. So there's those. And speaking of, we got two bath mats. Very cute. This is a white fitted sheet with like a really light pink pattern on it. It's kind of hard to even see, but um, it doesn't have any stains or anything on it. It's really still in nice condition and it's very soft. So there's that. And then below those are, <laughs> I hate that these are here. <laughs> They're just like peeking out in the corner. Oh my God. So, and then underneath is two pink towels that match the bath mats. So I'm always a little nervous to take linens, but you can always wash things multiple times if it makes you feel uncomfortable taking them. Um, but overall, those are in really good condition. So yeah, there's that. Oh, and this jacket, which again, I showed you guys a little bit. It's really nice. Um, it has like some big interior pockets. It's London fog and it's just like a nice, I don't know if this is called a blazer or a bomber jacket or what, but I'll definitely list this on Poshmark cause it is really pretty and I'll wash it. It has like, you know, you can tell stuff has been worn a little bit. It's a little bit worn, but it's not like somebody couldn't still wear this. And it honestly overall is in really nice condition. So I'm not sure why it was thrown out, but now we have it. So there we go. There is our very <laughs> interesting haul from today. So there you go. Everything that we found in the dumpsters today. Most of the stuff came from shopping centers and malls and then a lot from apartment complexes too. And yeah, overall, I'm really excited about this haul today, um, especially all of the lotions and body creams and stuff from Bath and Body Works. Those are uh, just really easy to sell online and I might even just put them bulk together, like a few of them as one um, since they are used. But these are $12.50 to purchase from the store. So I could easily sell this for five bucks um, online and and yeah so i really love finding stuff like this these are always like my favorite stuff to find and yeah oh and i also found that um pink dress that's like a really 90s style dress um it's currently laying on the floor <laughs> in that trash bag because i showed y'all it had like gross food and stuff on it so i'm gonna just wash it um and i'm not gonna show it in this video so there you have it We'll go say hi to Pilgrim, and then that'll be the end. <laughs> hi, boy. Hi, boy. Hi. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, look at that tooth. <laughs> so cute. So cute. <laughs> oh, I love you, Pilgy. All right, so there's Pilg, he's chilling. It's really hot today, so he's enjoying just laying on the cold floor. And yeah, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a really great week and a great weekend. No, it, no, it's Tuesday. We're not close to the weekend. I hope you all have a really great week and happy dumpster diving. Y'all let me know if you're finding anything cool lately. I would love to see like pictures. We have a Facebook group now called the Breathkist Club. Um, B-R-E-A-F-K-A-S-T Club. And um, I haven't really done a lot of posting in it yet, but I wanted to make it so that like people can start joining. And I think it'd be a really cool place for people to post pictures of their phone what they have found dumpster diving or like their favorite stuff. So I'll put a link in the description of this video if you want to join the Breath Kiss Club. Um, it's just going to be a fun place for people to like talk about dumpster diving and environmentalism and all kinds of cool stuff. So yeah, check that out if you're on Facebook and 
I guess that's it. <laughs> so, oh, hi. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.